Damascus Dermatology and Skin Surgery Centers works with cutting edge procedures and technology to bring you the best care possible. Today they're here to tell us about a surgical procedure that offers the highest cure rate for skin cancer, as well as a breakthrough in telemedicine that makes acne treatment easier than ever. Please welcome Dr. David A. Lee, a board certified dermatologist and Mohs micrographic surgeon. As we head into the winter here, Dr. Lee, it seems like skin cancer shouldn't be a concern, but right after the summer, that's the best time to think about skin cancer and, and the effects of the summer? Yeah, well, Sonia, this is a great time of year to think about skin cancer. Now that we're out of the summertime, you want to examine your skin closely for signs and symptoms of skin cancer. And what should, be, what should we be looking for? You know, you always sort of hear about, you know, like, you know, moles that have changed in size, but is, is there something else that we could be looking for? Yes, but melanoma is far and away the most dangerous type of skin cancer, and it's summed up by the A, B, C, D, E's melanoma. Okay. So we look for asymmetry, border irregularity, color changes in your mole, diameter greater than the size of a number two pencil eraser, oh, wow. and evolution, anything that's changing. Okay. Those are all signs that should point you towards the dermatologist. What about people of color? What should we be looking for? Skin cancer doesn't discriminate, and so you can have skin cancer. Although people of color have lower rates of skin cancer, they can still appear, and the most common area we see that in is uh, on the hands and the feet. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And why is melanoma so dangerous? Unfortunately, if melanoma becomes more advanced, it can grow deeper into the skin mm -hmm. and spread internally, at which point chemotherapy and radiation are somewhat limited, and the prognosis really? is much worse. Wow. But if we catch it early enough, it can be eradicated in a 30-minute in-office procedure. And wearing sunscreen is the way to go every day. Definitely. I say that, I never wear sunscreen, <laughs> okay? I should definitely do that. Now tell me about Mohs Micrographic Surgery. You're a Mohs Micrographic Surgeon. What is this? new technology. Well, Mohs is a fantastic technique for treatment of certain types of skin cancers. What we basically do is it's done in the office. We bring in, we numb up the area, and I take a scalpel and I cut a small circular piece of tissue around and underneath the involved area. Does it hurt? Mm, no, you will, you'll feel a little pinch with the numbing medicine, but after that you're completely numb. Okay. And then I take that piece of tissue to the lab where my technician and I, we process it. I can check it underneath a microscope to make sure all of it is out. If it's all removed, I'll come back in, we'll put some stitches in, and you'll be all set. Wow. If it's not all out, the slides tell me where to go back next, and I just take additional tissue just in the involved area. Can I do this all in one procedure, or do I need to come back, have the first procedure done, and then come back for the follow-up? It's usually done all of the technique is when you walk into my office, we get this started. You read magazines, drink some coffee, <laughs> watch some movies. Relax. By the time you leave the office, you're cured of your wow. skin cancer, and the recurrence rates are very, very low. That's amazing. Tell me, where is this available? This is available by board certified dermatologists who are specially trained in Mohs micrographics. And Mohs is spelled M O H S. M O H S. That okay, is so that's what we should be looking for. Where yes. are your offices? I have an office in Damascus, Maryland, as well as on K Street. Wow, so it's local. Yes. It's very local. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for about seven years now. Wow. Yeah. The advantages of this is the, the speediness of the actual procedure, and what else? Key advantages are it offers the highest cure rate for certain types of skin cancer, and this ability to check the tissue real time allows us to take as little normal tissue as possible when we're cutting out your skin cancer, right. which translates into the smallest scar after removal. What's on the horizon for this kind of research and this kind of procedures? Well, this is a really exciting time in medicine where we're really using a lot of technologies to make advances, especially in telemedicine. Uh, in my Damascus office, we offer an innovative program called Acne Track. Hmm. It's actually a digital program where teens and young adults can take pictures of their acne on their own time, transmit them to a secure website, and I can analyze them and then make treatment recommendations based on them. Are you seeing less skin cancer amongst young people now that people are more aware, or are you still seeing teens in tanning beds? Unfortunately, I'm still seeing a lot of skin cancer in younger individuals. Wow. There are times where I see people in their late 20s and early 30s coming in with skin cancers, and we are even seeing them in darker skin types, which is a newer trend. Wow. Yeah. Do we think that's the ozone layer taking its effect and all that kind of stuff? Mm, I think it's less ozone. I think we're still seeing a lot of tanning despite what we know about really? it, and so we have to be careful and prudent. Okay. Where can people find out more information? Uh, best place to find us is on, uh, on the web. You can go to DamascusGerm.com to learn more about these techniques. Excellent. Thank you so much. In one sitting, uh, just yes, get it all sitting. figured out. Yep. Thank you so much, Dr. Lee. Uh, thanks for having me. More Let's Talk Lives coming up. Stick with us right here.